I gotta say, my wife is my favorite person to play video games with. I, I mean, I just love it. I have so much fun going through video games with you because you just you get into it like I do. But, but I guess this one's broken. But like, just both of us being like, Whoa. she's having a straight up girl interrupted moment here. Uh, let's see. Come on, paper. give us the stupid note. Had to do it. Had to be done. Second time they've asked me to flush a toilet. Oh, wait, 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 look. It says Lonnie's name on the... What? Lonnie rules. Booyah. Oh, damn. Nice. Good eye. Oh, wait, wait. Baby, go back. What? Baby, go back. Where? Um, pick up those boxes. There ain't shit on these boxes. You got oh, some tampons, tampons and toilet paper. That's what you got going on there. I was just trying to see if maybe she wrote it on something. No way. It's gonna be a file or a note. Then why haven't we seen it yet? Okay. You think they would really put it, like, not in her room or, like, somewhere really far removed? Oh, did we look at that board? I don't think we looked at the board. Sternly worded letter. To a main concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and therefore an independent, fully <laughs> functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city is on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. Oh. I think she's off by a year. You are actually 18 when yeah. you are able to do that. Sam, stop leaving every damn light on in, in the house. You're as bad as your sister. Uh, Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Daniel, Daniel called. called. Damn. It's weird that there's, like, creepy stuff going on with Daniel and creepy stuff going on with the ghost. Yeah, well, let's... Secret speaking passage. of which, it's in this closet, right? Mom and Dad's bedroom? Yep. Okay, let's... Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. fuck... Oh, shit, a brick. Yeah, pull that string. Bloosh. You're gonna scare the shit out of daddy right now. Yeah, mommy. Both of us. Examine map. Ghost hunters. Sam and Lonnie's secret investigation log. Hidden compartments found. Three. The library, the upstairs hall, and the foyer. Evidence of the supernatural discovered. Zero. There's one in her room, too. Or across. You see that? Yeah, so maybe that's where... In compartments. Okay. It is weird that there are all those hidden compartments. If we ever build a house, can we have it? Oh, look, wait, 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 go back. What? There's a cross right there. We're just gonna carry this shit for a second. Oh! Ward off those spirits. I mean, where the fuck does this go? Okay, okay. Oh! I don't even know. What was that? Can you open this or something? I don't know, because we can't see. I don't know. Okay. What's that Polaroid? It was attached to the note. Oh, shit, I cannot get up the balls to go over. Can you, like, open this? Oh, my God. Oh, this is the library, right? It's a next Have we been in here? Yeah, we've been in here. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's just go back on through here. We can go back upstairs here in a minute. Fuck that. That was so damn scary. Right back. Uh, okay, okay. You notice, I want to remember too that one of the messages we heard was a girl crying, asking for Sam. Yeah. So I wonder if that was Lonnie? Absolutely, that's what okay. it was. All right. Like it would be anyone else. Okay, let's go to the secret panel across from stage two. Which is. Yep. Right. Oh, I don't know. Is it an across? Sam's room. It's like the next hallway. This okay. Hallway. This one right here. I think so. Hmm. Right. Click on the map. Are we where it's purple? Yeah. 
So yeah. So it's yeah, it's in one of these. Up. Ah. Whoa. Wait. There's that Ouija board they played with. Throw that on the ground. Pick up Ouija board. Uh, uh creep, creep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't even want to mess with that. In We're it. just gonna leave it upside down. Yep. First combo scrap. Zero. To open. Okay. Half a Sam's Locker combo. Oh, it's fucking with you, isn't it? Hello, hello. Who are you, Oscar? What do you want to come back? Oh, shit! That is just some scary <laughs> shit! <laughs> fuck that! And fuck you, Oscar. Oscar. Mm-mm. Yeah. Oh Not my cool, god. Alright, I'm gonna be respectful here. <sighs> Not cool. Okay. Okay. What now? Um, isn't there another secret? Aren't there three secret places? Let's go down a floor. Yeah, there's some downstairs. Let's go downstairs. I bet all the keys to those locked places are in those stupid locker. You think so? Yeah. Because okay. they're not going to give us things that we can't get into, right? No. Okay, so we can go in this hallway right here, and it's going to be one of these panels. There it is. Let's see. Ah, oh, the other half of the locker combo. Take second half. Wait, if it'll... 50 and 1. Property of Sam. Private. 0, 50 and 1. Private, do not read. Heaven at the edge of the world. The Green Glacier Part 2. Um... I feel like these are important. Allegra and her scouting party feared, uh, peered down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed with such lush, such lushness. I can't read. Lushness. Lushness. Juxtaposed, juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra, Allegra leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry. Allegra's party followed behind, moving quietly as it breezed through the... I know, it's the thunder. (laughs) The thunder and lightning scare me. (sighs) Uh, Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the queen Amazonian up on her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the bat below. She shouted, No! And flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand. But it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell toward the water, then splashed down, and all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then, from the vat, something began to emerge, a head of dark brown hair. God, the rain! Just like the first mate's. Then the shoulders and sleeves of his coat soaking wet. And as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact... What looked back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair, the hands, and the body of a woman. (laughs) Still in the first mate's clothes, still the first mate, he, she, spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain? The Amazonian queen said, she is one of us now, she is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt, and the queen, and the crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, that's the love of my life, and you can't have her. (laughs) There's some Lesbodian shit going on. Uh, Let's go upstairs. Now that we got that lock on combo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Zero fifty and one. Zero five zero one. We will slowly make our way because you can't run in this game. So if some ghosts come, it's going to be some silly bullshit. We're getting our Nancy Drew on right now. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, zero, five, zero, and one. Motherload, come on. Okay. Wait. Lonnie? Okay. Oh. Lonnie came over today. And everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. 
I just wanted to say, but I couldn't find the words. It felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Called it. <laughs> She is. The music. Cute. Basement key. Hell yes. Cigarettes. Fuck yeah. No. Oh Horrible. yeah. Morley also is the brand from the X-Files. A little bit of nerd trivia for you there. I would not have known that. Oh, sweet, delicious tobacco. Oh, oh are those clothes she shoplifted? Oh. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> Straight up. getting. Good luck getting that shit off right there. Oh. Damn. Oh, also, great UFO cover of Jillian Anderson, so <laughs> probably not to look at the girls, but... That's so funny. That is awesome. Okay, so to the basement, then. Oh, I don't want to go. You don't want to go? It's not like you're going to find, like, I don't know, like, they've become, like, lesbian ghosts that are going to be... Ah, oh, this house is fucking creepy. Yeah, okay, yeah, Tom is making fun of me right now because we don't want to go in the basement, but the second we get in the basement, we'll be like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. That's our, that's our balloon noise for when Baloo acts like a bitch, and you're about to totally hear me make that noise. We should turn the lights out. No. Oh. <laughs> what is this, uh, Slender? Uh uh. Oh, fuck. There is the light switch. Oh no. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. Shit, no. Oh. Well, Can what I do we. Can we, like, grab a lamp from somewhere in another room and walk with it? What do we do? Pull straight out. Thank oh. God! I'm just gonna back up for a second. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> are you well, fucking how deep kidding is me? stupid basement. Oh, I'm backing up because you know Oscar's ass is down here. Oscar. Cobwebs. Oh, no. Okay. Alright. Alright. It's all good. It's all good. What is that light over there? I don't give a shit. It's probably the furnace. Oh. Oh. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around, we do. We, we don't eat out. <laughs> so you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, where it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Nice. They're in doves. Nice little... She's... Obviously, like, they would hang out in the basement a lot. Well... Because, like, there's soda and chips here, you know? Yeah. Dear Samantha, I'd like to cordially thank you for having me um, to your abode for Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoy the... Something potatoes. Yes. And also, it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie D. A fancy man. Quite. Dear Mr. Soto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate. Following the aforementioned meal with my parents, your family's Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and refined oh. air. Let's do it again same time next year, shall we? Indeed, Madame Samantha Greenbrier Esquire. Okay, a little creeped out now that we got the fucking lights on. Let's go to the shitty dark part, which for some reason here, like Melinda said, is glowing because of the fucking creepy Home Alone furnace. Why do we gotta go in the room with the furnace? Why? Alright, we'll wait, we'll wait. No, wait, I think we have to go in. I just oh, there's go this in. shit, too. Oh. One of my old sex ed assignments. They're all about some sex ed. 
the menstrual cycle. Hmm. So they have the same exact thing. Assignment? And she just did a list, you see. And got the. Oh. oh. <laughs> Why is her shit out, though? Was Sam going through it? You can tell Caitlyn was like the overachiever daughter. Don't like the breaker. Oh no. Really, it's that she's made a deal to sacrifice Caitlyn. That would be fuck the hell business. up. <laughs> As they've given us like no weapons or shit like that. L plus S. Aw. Why would you hang out down here though? What oh. the fuck? Richard Greenbrier. Who's Richard Greenbrier? I don't know. Where are you going? If you I'm think you're leaving me alone with this shit. I'm checking. It smells like something's burning. Oh, yeah, it does. You might have to add water. Is it? You're right. Yep, I gotta add water. All right. It's not um, all burning, is it? Like all burned up? No, it's not all burned up. Okay. Melinda, we... Found this cool thing. I'll have Melinda tell you about it in a minute. One of Dad's books with something stuck to it. Oh, thank you for sending along a uh, copy of your newly published book. An author's first published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son and the subject matter. An author's work is for the uh, externalization of that which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in this respect, I believe your work was successful. But the lens through which the personal uh, shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible... Is that... Demetrius Science Fictional Deus Ex Machina? Uh, the great authors speak of their life's milieu as in clear and honest tones the lens crystal that refracts their thoughts without distortion. I congratulate you on surviving the great ordeal that is publication and rest assured that readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily, but I urge you to shred... To shed artifice. You can do better with a father's love and encouragement. His dad was a dick. Oh, like that's what he said about his book. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. I think that's mom's citizenship stuff. So she became a citizen from somewhere? I guess so. Let's see. We have Mayor Reed, United States, uh, King County, United States, Seattle, Wash. Doesn't really say. Hmm. Okay don't like that corner it's dark and what the fuck is here wait a minute we're just gonna also turn that light on it's cool oscar be cool, be cool. Yeah, okay we'll check out this room first though oh my god straight up it is a creepy room all right oh, yeah okay yeah. what Let's see. Girl Scout, the band formerly known as Cub Scout. That's their set list. Cool. Oh. Making their Todd's right band girl. lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. She's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm going to be at every single show. Till she ships out in June. They left yeah. together. Can't read any of those. We have a letter here, though. Yolanda DeSoto, courtesy of Hector USA. Dear Sam, today's Spanish lesson. X Y Mocha. Your love to Amor. I'm so happy you like the drawing. I was thinking of you of us when I drew it. I know you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico. I think probably the native. The nature. Oh, sorry. The nature here is totally different from. Uh, then back home. I keep thinking about algebra or allegra. allegra. And the first mate lost on a mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And I think of them together out there in the wilderness together and I start thinking of you again. A lot 
Um, oh, I, I hear, hear in bed. bed. Yeah. I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we are together again, but I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got to me the day before we started driving back north. We'll be race, racing this letter home. I get... If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm talking. I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Tamor, Lonnie. What's Wait. that little pen? X-ray specs. Oh, and there's nothing. We can't read any. Hang. Wait, hang on, baby. Huh. We can't read anything in the trash or that letter that's on the ground right there. You cannot there. read that. Might be able to get back yep. here. Yep. It's like a drug. The first time I was in my room in the middle of the night, I woke up and Lonnie was kissing me. The clock said 3.13. Her face was spectral in its dim red light. Okay. <laughs> That's a pretty good touch right there. Yeah. And... Uh. Oh, safe. Another fucking combination. Not surprised. Oh... Oh. Uh, well, sorry, it doesn't work. Okay. Then. What do you want to do? Wait. Terry H. Damn. You sure you don't want to go down there? You go. You forge ahead, baby. You're the one that's. Well, let's check out the other areas that are already lit, and then. You know. The last resort. Yeah. Because fuck that dark place. Yup. I don't even know what that is. Who's Ashen or something? Mason's Pharmacy? Hmm. Let's see. Ah! Hi, Sam. I'm writing to you from uh, Multimac Falls. I'm here on a stupid quest trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone's running this school. Uh, if anyone running this school has been to or Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh, wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh, shit. Here you come, L. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. <laughs> 